okay hi guys so in this lecture we'll be discussing on the mechanism of Kanizer reaction so let's get started so mechanism is as follows so we have HC double bond OH okay this in basic medium what happens to this compound is uh, this OH minus act as a nucleophile and we get something like this compound okay and again this will attack on this compound will attack on another aldehyde or as H minus released would then be attack on attacking on this carbon as it's a nucleof uh, electrophile so we'll be getting something like OH plus negative okay next what will happen is this again CH3O minus will actually take the H plus and will have HCO2 minus and CH3OH alcohol changed ether has stable in basic medium hence this would be stable compound hence we can say that rate of this reaction is proportional to the concentration of the intermediate which is I am calling this as uh, I1 okay and again HCHO which is the reacting agent so HC double bond OH so in instead of calling it as I1 I can directly write it squared okay because at first step this is uh, uh, at the first step this is going to be attacked by OH minus okay so OH minus would be also uh, determining the rate and in the second step these two compounds will be determining the rate which are the same compounds okay hence rate is proportional to OH minus and aldehydes concentration squared okay so order for this reaction is 3 let's take another example wherein we have CHO and CHO both at attached and again we are passing basic medium and we are hitting it what will happen is we will be getting CH2OH here and we will be getting CO2 minus K plus here again if we talk about the mechanism of this reaction we are just copy pasting our idea from the previous mechanism again we will be getting some OH minus so let's say OH minus attacks on this carbon atom as it can attack on any carbon atom as both are symmetrical so we'll get something like OH here and H attached here next what we'll be getting is oh, sorry OH and O minus would also be there so for the symmetry sake I'm just making this OH and this is O minus okay this oxygen atom takes back its uh, bonding electron next what will happen is again we will get something like this jumping of uh, negative charges and bonds so we'll be getting something like O minus here H and H double bond O OH next this O minus takes back takes its hydrogen atom and as a result we'll be getting CH2OH and CO2 minus obviously you can attach K plus here so this is the final product we we get after the Kanizero mechanism okay so in this case rate would be proportional to the concentration of OH minus and the order would be only 2 why the order 2 well, because this CHO is only getting oxidized and reduced at the same time this is getting obviously reduced and this is getting oxidized hence order would be just depending on the depending dependent upon the concentration of this alone okay let's let's look at more examples so we have uh, HC double bond OH which again undergoes OD minus and we are hitting it so what would be our final product so the final product would be obviously we will be getting something like so would we would be we having any difference in uh, the 
what do you know as products so would you, would you be encountering any difference so if you look into the reaction you will be you will be seeing that this od minus actually attacks on this carbon atom first oh, sorry this carbon atom first and as a result we will be getting something like od here and h here then it will again be involved in dissociating h minus from this compound and hc double one oh would again be involved which will attack on this carbon atom as a result minus charge will come here and we would be getting something like c double bond o od plus hc so ch2 ch3 oh would be there for this so we would be getting ch3 uh, ch3 o minus rather okay so next what will happen is so next we'll be getting something like if you just see that uh, there, there is a lot more quantity of od minus available in the solution so what will happen is this od minus will actually attack on so uh, or it will attack on the od here and will take the d2o okay then o minus can attack on d2o and become like ch3od or we can directly have this o minus can attack on this d just leaving and as a result we'll be getting something like hco2 uh, minus plus cs3 od okay let's look at another example wherein we have something like dc double one d c double one o d and then we are reacting it in pacing medium and heating it so what will happen in the first step is obviously oh will be getting attacked he uh, attached here the result will be getting something like O minus and D here plus again we have D C double bond O D this will forming a double bond here D minus would be leaving and attacking on this carbon atom and as a result will be getting D double bond D C double bond O O H plus C D three O minus next what will happen is this O minus will take away this H plus as a result will be getting D C O my two minus plus C D O C D three O Uh, rather H because this O minus is attacking on this hydrogen atom. This will be the major uh, products. Okay, so with this, we come to the end of this lecture. In the next lecture, we will be seeing some more examples of uh, Kellner reaction. Okay, so till then, good luck and good bye.